welcome to this masterclass discussion on financial crime compliance. My name is Brian Kaplan. I'm editor of The Banker. I'm here with Tom Scampion, global risk analytics leader with Deloitte, and with Luke Moron, who is head of banking, markets, and compliance services at SWIFT. And Tom, I mean, we were talking about uh, the broad picture of financial crime compliance. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got these big organizations with this big challenge. How do they make a, a, a risk assessment? Well, risk assessment is, is the starting point for the, the, the whole topic of financial crime compliance. Um, if you can't understand your risks, you can't manage them. And so applying a consistent, a structured approach to how do I understand the inherent risks to each part of my business, how do I then look at the, the way in which those risks are controlled, and then calculate a, a residual risk will give me a sense of what controls I need to put in place for uh, managing the different parts of my business. And, and the point, Brian, that's very important is that these are business risk assessments. They need to be conducted by people who understand the specific parts of the business because that's where the standards and the processes actually sit. Uh, we can do these things academically and abstractly, but that won't actually manage the risk. And so, therefore, we need to work very closely with the business people who are living and breathing in the different parts of an organization, right from product conception all the way through to, in theory, client exit, and understand the different ways in which that part of a business um, runs and therefore we can understand both the inherent risks, the controls that are, are there to map against those and then our calculated residual risk. Okay. And look, how can SWIFT help with that risk assessment process? To me, the key points are uh, information and quality assurance. So information, what we try and do there is to make sure that banks are provided with the, the most accurate information what is actually happening within uh, the, the network. So across all the branches, across all the correspondence, across all the currencies. And we can leverage the wealth of information we have on SWIFT to do that. So we provide them with that information. We help them spot unexpected uh, patterns. And then they can then take uh, decisions based on that. It is an independent, complementary view versus what they have as internal tools, but that is information. And the second one in terms of quality assurance, that also is very important. Uh, implementing those policies in a consistent way across all the subsidiaries is a major challenge for banks. And therefore, we have designed tools that help them assess you know, all those processes are actually performing. Okay, so, so, so tell us about that, because I think you've got one called Compliance Analytics, is that right? So Compliance okay. Analytics is for the information. The, the one on quality assurance, we call it sanction testing. What we do there is that we independently test both the effectiveness and efficiency of the sanctions filters of the banks. Independent assessment that help them you know, spot potential issues with the filters and then correct those. And, and Brian, I think it's really important that um, a risk assessment is a point-in-time assessment of whether or not there are I I inherent risks, future residual risks about the, the, the particular client that a bank uh, may be transacting with. But the key thing here is that when you make that assessment, you need to then demonstrate that that assessment is consistent with the way in which the, the, the client actually behaves. And that's where I think this transactional analysis to say, well, you said you were going to be, be conducting business in these areas in this way. Is that actually what we're seeing? All right. And this closing the circle is really important. And tell us, tell us about the role of, of data in, in achieving this then, because that seems to be critical. Yeah? Uh, absolutely. And, you know, data has become the real challenge for many compliance departments when it comes to understanding financial crime partly because we don't understand the clients well enough when we take them on. Um, uh, there's a big theme in the industry at the moment, uh, the moment about um, a relatives and close associates. Uh, so it's not just the client themselves, but it's who they do business with, who they might be linked to, who they are associated with, because that gives us an angle on uh, risk assessment that without we, we can't fully understand our exposure. Um, and, and the data is fundamental to that. So in the industry, there's a big trend towards two form, forms of analytics. Uh, using data. One is about the entity itself. Do I understand all the related parties to that entity? And then secondly, the linking of that entity. So who are the associates uh, that are connected to that organization? Because that will inform the way in which I assess the risk exposure to my organization. And look, presumably, I mean, SWIFT, by the nature of the organization, would also have a lot of data that's useful for these kinds of processes. Yeah, absolutely. So back on what uh, Tom was saying, clearly we have a lot of information on the entities themselves and what they do between themselves. So this is something that we can help banks with. Of course, there are important data privacy issues that need to be respected. But there is ways to provide information specifically for what that institution does in a comprehensive view, in a comprehensive way, and that is quite uh, important, of course. Okay, John, we'll come back in just a minute and talk about how we de-risk the bank. 